Hi, and welcome to how to auto provision Grandstream phone video tutorial. In this video, we will use Grandstream GXP2170 to demonstrate the auto provisioning. However, the same procedure can be used for other Grandstream phones as it is very similar. Easiest way to auto provision your phone is through the phone web interface. To access the phone web interface, you will need your phone IP address. Your phone IP address can be found inside the phone settings. Simply open status and then network status menu. And under IP field, you will see your phone IP address. Enter the address in your browser and use your login credentials. If you haven't changed default Grandstream login credentials, enter admin for both username and password. Once logged in, the first thing you need to do is to reset your phone to factory settings. Unless your phone is brand new and is currently set to factory settings, then you don't have to do this step. Otherwise, in the upper right corner, click on factory reset and then select OK to confirm the action. It will take a minute for your phone to reset and reboot. When done, click start and log into phone web interface. Next, you will need to check your firmware. It is important that your phone is loaded with the appropriate firmware version. Different models may require different firmware versions. You can look up which version is supported for your device at wiki.bicomsystems.com slash UADs. To check which firmware version you have currently installed, under status menu, select system info. Your firmware version will be displayed under software version section. If you have trouble installing a firmware, please contact Bicom support team. Next, you will have to adjust UAD settings. Create the extension and register your phone. Inside the tenant settings, under auto provisioning section, enter the username and password for provisioning server. Remember this as you will need it later in this tutorial. Once done, click save to apply the settings. Next, select the desired tenant and under tenant settings menu, navigate to UAD. Find your device and open the device edit options. Make sure that general section status is set to active and that under auto provisioning section, Auto provisioning and DHCP is set to yes. Once done, click save to apply the settings. Next, under extension menu, click on add extension. Select your device from UAD list and under location, set removed. Click next step button, specify the extension name and email. Select the department and under Mac, enter the Mac address of the phone. You can find a MAC address on the back of your phone and also inside a phone web interface. Simply open status menu and then select network status. Once you have entered the MAC address, click save to apply the settings. This completes all the settings you need to do inside of PBXware. Next, you will need to register a Grandstream phone by setting up the provisioning server. Go back to your phone web interface and once inside, under maintenance menu, select upgrade and provisioning. Under configuration section, select HTTP and under server path, enter your server IP address or a host name. And at the end, add slash PROV. Enter the provisioning server username and password. And at the bottom, select Save and Apply. Once done, at the top, click on Provision to send provision request to the phone. If you have done everything correctly, your phone will reset and once it is finished rebooting, you will have successfully registered your phone to PBXware. Thank you for watching this video and if you need more help, be sure to visit Bicom Systems Wikimedia page.